past we used to just flare the methane. It's a very common practice in Iowa back and still is. Um, so they just flare it off. Instead of the pipe going to the flare, now that that pipe comes here, we remove a lot of pollutants, H2S, siloxanes, volatile organic compounds, all have to be removed from the biogas. Okay. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, everything except for the methane. So we scrub it down to 99.99% methane and then eject that right into the natural gas pipeline. Skid is one of the most important things because it can remove most of the total sulfur, sulfur compounds and then H2S and then almost half of the VOCs and siloxane also can be removed by this step. So you have to use a lot of caustic to remove those contaminants but it's simple and very efficient. So without this we have to use much bigger and much more active carbon vessels. So this system is really important. But it can generate wastewater, like high pH of wastewater, because caustic can create high pH. So we also send those wastewater to the wastewater, main wastewater stream. So we can treat that. After that, the active carbon vessels, it can remove the mainly VOCs and siloxane. After this pass, this skid, there's no VOCs and siloxane. Almost 99.9% .9 can be removed. And then the residual H2S, roughly like 50 to 90 ppm of H2S can be removed by these vessels. So after that, there's no H2S or no sulfur. So that gas, which means like very pure, uh, methane and H uh, CO2 can be separated by the membrane. So membrane is just simply physical separation from the methane to CO2.